I'm, I'm Søren, I'm a partner in an agency called Kadawa, and uh, how many here are Danish? There are a few, but we will, we will keep it in English. I'm going to uh, present a case we, we did for the bus company uh, Arriva, who are doing pub public uh, transportation in Copenhagen, and uh, one, of the, um, one of the things that I was asked to, to tell about or inform uh, this audience about is, uh, is, is one of the videos we made where we celebrated one of their bus driver's birthday. Um, so, somebody have already seen that maybe? Yes. Okay. Can you, can you see it again for those who haven't seen it? Because uh, I think I would like to... Will it start if I press here? Okay, so did you like it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, have you seen it before? Yeah. Yes. Who haven't? Okay, that's a few. Um, did you pass it on to a friend when you saw it? Yes. yes. Yeah? Why? It's funny. It's funny. It's funny? Got moved. Got moved, touched? Yeah, touched. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a feel good movie. Exactly. So, the question is, uh, what makes a, m a movie go, go viral? Why is this a success? Nearly four million have seen this movie. And we have not spent uh, money on publishing advertisers such as Go Viral or who else uh, in, in the market for this. So uh, my question to you is, is uh, you got touched about it and some other g had said it was a feel-good movie and so we share it with others. And I think this is, this is one of the key elements to what makes a movie go viral, what makes an advertisement go viral. Because this is a, 
as it's a commercial advertisement for Arriva. But it's about a good course. It's about the course of having a having a good trip in the bus and also seeing the bus driver as a human and not as a robot. So there are some parameters that we can that we can uh, say makes videos uh, get a, get sort of alive on the internet and one of them is fun. The other one is the touch, the feelings. Then we have a uh, violence. We didn't use that that much in this video. Violence, but also the extreme part of it, as you saw probably Carlsberg's commercials and so on, where people are flying hundreds of meters, some different things, and then you go like, whoa, is this even possible? And it looks real, and I'm sharing it because it's crazy. But this one is a feel-good movie. It's the, oh, I can see myself in his eyes when he's crying, and oh, he's sweet, he has such a good smile, I'll share it with my friends. At least that was what we could see, what was going on when, when we did this. But also saying, not just making the movie make and sort of bring the success, because this, this, uh, this video is a, a little part of a very huge campaign we did for Arriva. In 2008, Arriva got sort of the task to, to do a four, four years campaign called Bella, Bella Bus Tour, Bella Bus Ride, or Bella Bus Trip, or what you call it. And the aim is to sort of uh, to to get a good good atmosphere in the bus, have a good experience while you're traveling from A to B, and actually looking at a transport company as a service company and not as a transport company. So our task when we got when we got this in what was that 2009, we 2010 maybe nine I can't remember. Anyway, we we started to to mobilize uh, the we can say the the employees in Arriva. We made a lot of uh, a lot of uh, actions in order to to get the the people in in the garage fixing the bus to to get them to be a part of the campaign. We involved the bus drivers in the making. We involved the uh, people in the office in in the making of uh, various uh, things we did in the bus, such as uh, the whole the whole verbalization of you are not allowed to drink coke when you're traveling with the bus. You're not allowed to eat, what's the sign, eat a, a hot dog or an ice cream. Uh, so we wanted to change this and say, okay, if you're not allowed to eat ice cream, what are you allowed to do then? And then we made sort of small icons that you are allowed to sing, you are also allowed to smile as you're doing now, and you are allowed to listen to music, you are allowed to read a book, and, and all these very small things that that had impact on people uh, while they were taking the bus. How many of you are taking public transportation in Copenhagen? A lot of you. How many of you have heard the bus driver tell a joke? Uh, a few of you. What does, how does that make you feel? <laughs> Welcome? <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> if the joke was about you, I understand that. <laughs> but yeah, welcome. And, and uh, when, we were, when we were starting out doing these campaigns, we, we made a lot of, sort of, uh, lot of surveys, a lot of uh, out in the bus, seeing what is the atmosphere here, how can we change it, uh, is there even a will to make it change? Like, there's no, no reason just to go out and make a change in order just to do it. We need to find out if, if there is a need for this. And there is, because uh, the bus drivers are taking, uh, taking part of bus 5A, which is not Arrivas, by the way, but uh, is on... Uh, on Nørrebrogade, you all know 5A, right? The, yeah. uh, the people behind the, the wheel <laughs> here in bus 5A are, are those who are, have the highest risk of suicide because of, of their jobs. So all of us taking 5As, we are a part of this. And uh, I'm not saying we should feel guilty about it, <laughs> but uh, I'm saying it, it puts things to, to mind when you're saying hello to the bus driver in the morning. Uh, and and you can say when you ask the ask ask the public, so what makes a good bus ride for you? Saying oh if the if the bus driver is happy, I'm happy. So okay, so we go and ask the bus driver, what makes the bus what <laughs> what makes a good uh, good atmosphere in the bus for you? When are you happy? When the passengers are happy? When they are smiling? I'm happy. Uh, okay, back to the passengers. <laughs> so <laughs> how can you how how can we make you smile in the bus? And this circle is, is, is interesting to look at, because if we can 
sort of uh, have an impact in one end, it will automatically influence the other end. So this was what we did. We uh, we showed. Uh, oh, first we did a lot of things, and uh, <laughs> and making making Mukta go go viral uh, was the last part we did in in this campaign. First, we introduced um, love seats in uh, 350s. Did any of you see that? Yeah. yeah. How did that make you feel? Awkward. Awkward. <laughs> exactly. Because the 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 idea of the love seat is not is not uh, is not saying okay now we we want to make an alternative to a dating website or anything. It's saying okay we are so afraid of talking to each other. So if we if we play place something which is so awkward that we're absolutely not going to use it. We will at least talk about how awkward it is. And that, that was what happened. Uh, so we got a lot of uh, press coverage on this. And, uh, and this is where the, the viral effect for Mukta actually starts. And that's about three weeks before the video is released. So I'm, I'm a part of the, or I, I am the digital team in our agency. And my focus was to sort of track all uh, web activities based on this love seat uh, story, and a lot of bloggers were writing about this uh, this event, the love seats. Uh, BBC made uh, interviews with uh, with the project leaders from Arriva. I mean, people were stealing the love seats from the bus, putting them in their car, making blog posts about "I have a love seat, honey, you want to <laughs> ride?" Uh, I mean, all kind of stuff was going on, right? And I was tracking everything, trying googling, just keep on, uh, keep on, con keep in contact with the people. Like, hey, I saw you got the love seat. Uh, hey, where did you get it from? Or what do you think about it? Uh, and so on and so forth. And the list was just growing about how people were interacting with this campaign in one way or the other. Then we then we asked the people in in the bus, what will make a good bus ride for you? SMS the answer and. I think we made a competition about it, I can't remember that. But as SMS the answer and we will see if we can implement this feedback next time. So we got tons of SMS about, hey, I want to use the back entrance, uh, the, the door in the back, for example. Uh, some people are going, I want to hear heavy metal in the bus. <laughs> <laughs> we got a, some of this was, uh, you know, um, okay, valid, all feedback is valid. Some of, it, some of it was more useful than others. But then, we were in contact with uh, thousands of people about this, and uh, I had a long list about who were writing about the, the love seats. And when we then made Mukta uh, the, the video, we could uh, I could take contact to all these love seat stealers or bloggers, saying, "Hey, I could see that you liked the this part of the campaign. Maybe you like this part too." And people felt firstly they felt honored for uh, for being contacted. And we had the, the feeling that, oh, I got touched seeing the movie. Of course, I think this is a great follow-up for the love seat. So, oops, I'm going to blog about Mukhtar again. And uh, this was uh, three weeks, uh, you can say, very hard uh, research and contact work that made uh, Mukhtar hit nearly one million views within six or seven days. And... Now we are close to 4 million, and uh, we are not doing any work on spreading it now. Now it's sort of, it's all by Japanese TV stations that are taking this up now. <laughs> and uh, they are still writing emails if they can broadcast uh, the video in Japan. And we're going, yeah, sure, <laughs> go, go crazy. <laughs> uh, but, um, uh, yeah, I think the, the question here and for you guys today is saying, what, one, one, one thing is how to make a viral movie. I mean. There's so many cameras here. You can probably make this go viral if you really, if you really put the effort to it. And I, I think like most videos can possibly go viral if it has some of these. Uh, I don't know how touchy I am, but uh, but I, I, th I think we could could change something here if if so. No, all videos can go viral is my uh, sort of uh, statement here. If you if you put the right energy into making the video, into making sort of the setting for it, and so on. So. Um, what else? Well, um, yeah. Do you have any uh, any any questions for this? How do you how do you did you measure or research about who who wrote what? Is there 
some uh, engines for that, or it's just Google. Ba yeah, basic yeah, search engines and a lot of uh, Twitter hashtags and and yeah, en endless uh, search results. So uh, that was my technique at least. And they were also very good at linking to each other. So uh, so that, that also helped a lot. But I would say, uh, I think the, um, the speak that was, that was here just before uh, about characteristics, what you recognize and so on, is exactly the same with the videos. If you can recognize yourself in, in what you see, or if you can recognize you being the provider of this video, you will, you will automatically uh, sort of take, take that in and use it. Yeah, we get a lot of the questions now saying, uh, we, want a, we want a Mukta video for our company. And uh, we go, okay, do you have a bus, ride, bus driver? No, okay. So uh, we'll have to find out, uh, come up with something else. Um, I don't think that all uh, all companies uh, can can sort of make a video like like Mukta, because uh, there is a, a huge story to uh, to to the to the to the job being a bus a bus driver, and also the. The, the fact that we all know how to meet a bus driver. We have all, we've all tried it, we've all been in the bus so many times. And taking that experience into sort of, uh, what could it be? Uh, yeah, in a different setting, in a different company, selling chewing gums, whatever. Um, I think we are, we are running into sort of the, the emotional uh, crash about uh, how, how, how do we, how do we brand the brand a cause of, of selling chewing gums when we when we compare it to sell of the, the good cause of having a, a good atmosphere in the bus, and a lot of the, the hype for 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 Mukta was uh, these guys are using the employee to brand uh, Arriva. This is uh, how can uh, how can the workers union live with this? Uh, the guy never knew the camera was. Uh, was on top of him, and uh, this is uh, misuse of, of, of employees. And uh, I, I mean, we, we made an agreement with Mukta on this, saying if you are getting sick of tired of this, we will take down the video, we will stop. And he was like, hey, no, sure, as long as you cut out the part where I'm picking my nose, I'm, <laughs> I'm fine. So. Uh, but I think it's a very interesting, uh, very interesting debate, and of course the the public debate about this was also uh, a part of hyping it. But the public debate came after one million hit, uh, views, and uh, and then that's when when Mukta became sort of the rock star who was in uh, in TV shows from six in the morning to ten ten at night. And uh, when you when you watch all these TV shows, you can also see that first of all he's getting pretty tired in the end, but also he's He's starting out saying uh, that that it was a very good experience, and in the end, he is uh, he is also saying it was a good experience, and that he thinks this stands for uh, for mangfaldighed in English. Uh, What's that? Diversity. Diversity. Sure. And Arriva won the uh, Integrationspris 2011, the Prize of Integration from the Integration Minister. Uh, based on the campaign, not necessarily the, the, the video only, but the, the whole campaign. And uh, banning on uh, the newspaper wrote uh, Mukta wins integration prize. Uh, we won uh, different uh, <laughs> advertising prizes as uh, Creative Circles and the New Media Award 2011 and Politikens YouTube Video of the Year and so on. So uh, there was a lot of things coming out of celebrating this birthday. I think I hit the time limit. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much.